Okay. Okay, so we're going to do something a little different today. Um, <clears throat> I think I'd like to write some loopable stuff for the Unity store. So we're going to go for that. We're going to do something real fun and, and light and interesting and loopable and usable. And oh, it should be fun. I want the chat options to go away. All right, so we're gonna start with some fun, nice, light, um, thing. Why is it not? Oh, there it is. Good morning. That's our first pulse, that's what we'll base everything on. We're gonna do something uh, nice and bright and major. So we're going to want this to be loopable, so one of the things we got to avoid is uh, pretty much anything that, that doesn't end right when I let go of the key. So like that right there is a little bit, probably a little bit, although I think because it's not reverb. Instruments. 
produce a piano. And we gotta get rid of the uh, reverb on it because we're gonna want this to loop eventually. and dry. Lights and pet strings. Maybe, uh, that chord changer is weird, but I like it. That's why. Double the piano. Uh, nice, pretty synths. This is gonna sound very almost Staxily. Although I try to make Staxel more unique, but this one's gonna be a little bit Staxily just because it's kind of in the same. I like this one, but get rid of the reverb. Yeah, it's super nice. And not having the piano uh, pedal on is really helping us when we double that. Just copy it straight off. I really hate the pits. Let's get rid of it. Let's do a pizzicato on this cello, on the cello though. That'll make it sound nice. Yeah, too much pedal. I think you could actually have that sound really nice with pedals as long as you pedaled with the chords, but I like it better with this. Actually, we're gonna move it up to the Steinway instead of the Bosey. It's a little brighter of a sound. Now we need to do something like it goes dun 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 dun
See, here we're gonna half pedal. We're gonna go. There, we'll just do this a little bit at a time. Is that even? I can't even hear it. Yeah, you can hear it in here. Let's add some uh, violas with it. Dun, dun, dun. Helps if you. Can you hear the viola when I record it? I don't know, it's not those good. Also, you need to do something there. Yeah, it's kind of boring, but it'll sound good. <coughs> Pardon me. Is it higher over there? spring and summer, but usually they're away by now by the time it snowed. It snowed yesterday, so usually that means... I don't like this part. Man, it's not having a good day for this. Okay, we're starting this whole thing over. This is, I hate this. I think close my heart. Don't save. We're starting over. sick. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, we definitely want it to be light and airy and bouncy like that. Loopable, but a little bit less, I don't know, less, less chord and be. I liked everything in that, it's just, it wasn't working. You just gotta kill it. Move on. First of all, let's let's increase the tempo just a little bit. We're also about a D. I think we're going to be flat. I don't know why I 
Thank you. There are things I like about that, but I need something that really makes me go, yay, that's what we want. Might be cool to see. I keep a score open. It shows me the notes that I'm playing. Put that in the corner here. Thank you. 
Okay, that was cool. I liked that. And that'll actually loop, so that'll be the first set of loops. so that it loops. And have our chilies go to the chords there. Okay, we're going to make a variation on that over here. We're going to add a piano melody to it.
Hello. too. This one we're going for a nice and light. We're going for something that's that's fun. So I've do, I've been doing these little loop packs for the Unity Store that basically are sets of programmable music that you can you know mix and match all the loops together. I did one that's big and orchestral. It's up there right now. Um, but I've been needing to do something a little different, um, something light and fun. Insist on doing the logic. I'll just do it. Okay, fine. Let's see. Let's see. Put all these in. Just writing in my own pedal players because why record them when you could just write them in? And this is definitely the pedal off at the end, or else this is gonna loop weird. Do a new loop. This one's going to be start on C again, but we're going to go a different place with it.
Yeah, just a, just a little like trans transition one. It has to start on C because all the loops need to start on C for me to guarantee that they will. Well, that's not true. You could probably start on a different one, but I'm going to start them all on C so that I know they work. But oh, it's going to F there. be like a little transition block. The whole idea is to have sort of like, it's like having like musical Legos that you can place and you can programmatically put together in any order and they'll always sound good. And so you can have sort of a programmatic, like, like this would be a nice little menu track, I think, you know, and the menu. <laughs> We're always ending on these at 34. So we need to start and end at 34 so that it always matches. Is that right? 34? 34. Yeah. We're just going to make this one get into the nice bright areas. We'll just have the piano playing soft chords to match those up at the top. A little, a little more expansive. A little bigger, something like. Or, yeah. Close, 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 close. And it could actually go back to here, that bum 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 bum. Perhaps a little like bum bum bum. bum. That's a good question. Sort of. I think it's the. Uh, I could add some strings to this to make it nice and full. I could just a little bit of the, like, VA, like, not staccato. Um, Nice. 
little transition loop there. Cool. So that's a little transition element. That could go back to this. Or it could even go back to this. Cool. All right. Next one. What should it be? Maybe, maybe some a uh, counter melody is what it should be. So it's going to be the same words as the melody. So we can just copy this over. So C. Let's just record and see what happens. That's cool, but why are you not staying with the thing? Let's try this again. So we're going to do that. We're going to fix that one wrong note. This should be D sharp. Okay, now we're just going to figure out what chord's happening in this guy right now. Actually, why in the world? Yeah, whatever. What chord is happening in this guy right now? Um. C. So we can do like. And then G. Okay. Perfect. Lovely little chillest thing is going. So counter melody.
let's just fix that right now. to be like a different species counterpoint essentially it needs to be like a long thing that's happening so let's try that are happening I'm just not even following the harmony at all that's the problem <laughs> okay that was good so this is now an F chord that's the problem Just a little bit of this.
not specifically tropical. I'm trying to make it pretty broad. I mean, um, that's certainly not a terrible idea. It's just quite a thing. We know it loops at least. <laughs> So how many, how much time is this? We're starting at about, uh, each measure is about a second. We've got about 130 minus two seconds, two seconds, four seconds, six seconds, or like 120 something. So I think one more loop and we've got enough to kind of sustain the thing. I think maybe some more transition material would be good. Let's do a second transition that's a little bit broader, a little bit more exciting. Okay. First of all, let's add first of all, let's add a little bit of these, just for fun here. So now what we need is the ending loop. So let's do the same thing we did for everything else. Let's do...
What were those starting at 34, I think? Um, actually, it's going to probably just go directly onto the piano, full stop, no changes. The key with loopable stuff for games is that you want... Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, good, 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 okay. Sometimes the East West Piano Engine bugs out, and when you hear it suddenly go to those staccato notes, it means that it's only playing the staccato samples, and uh, it's annoying. What if I did that? Are you still gonna go to staccato? Oh, I hate it when it does that! At least it's not doing it permanently, just for... We'll just record it again. It'll sound better when there's other instruments on that last. Say what you want. I won't necessarily, I don't guarantee that I'll listen to it, but I think opinions are great in chat. Sometimes I follow them. This is too long. This needs to shut up. Perfect. All right, so that's the end. Actually, we need to add a chunk, 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 chunk. Should be enough music for the whole for a nice bit of varied. We'll, we'll, what we'll do is I'll, I'm going to bounce it out and then I'm going to reopen. Actually, everybody should be in on this. Thank you. 
on that. Wait, what? Why is it playing the... Oh, because when I deleted it, deleted all the notes. That was super stupid of me. <laughs> Let's see how well these actually work together. So first of all, let's save what we've got. And we should be able to just mix and match these, like, almost totally randomly. And they should work as a piece that's different every time. So let's see if that works. I always test them because you never know. I was mad not pressing backspace enough skills. this melody? Yes. Let's bounce melody B2. These might have a couple artifacts. I don't think I turned off reverb in the um, Glock. So the Glock may cause a little bit of snaps when I, when I uh, click, so when I loop it, but I'll just go back and re-exploit everything with the reverb off. the trans bounce the transitions. This is a transition, right? Yes. And finally, Save project. Enjoy a spinning beach ball. Close this. Point. 
project. Do a new project that is blank, hopefully. Good. Add an audio track. Today's whip. Oh, this is whoops. Okay. Yes. Sure, whatever. Okay, so what we should be able to do is grab menu intro first. Oh, make sure the menu ending. First of all, we should. Just be able to have them play straight up like this. Uh, let's um. Sorry, I'm not used to working with audio and logic, and I mostly just sequence, so this part's always a little. Let's just do this. Okay, so right now this is really super short. But we should get a nice smooth piece out of it. Let's find out. some cool stuff with this because that actually was seemed to work mostly there's a couple of artifacts in the bounce but that's okay I can fix that later uh, this isn't the bounce I'm gonna use anyway okay let's do this let's uh, just create a track over here now let's just drop these down here for a second that's how this track ended. okay let's drop let's go from there into melody a we should be able to let's repeat melody a let's say three times okay and then let's have menu transition and then what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to see if the intro will actually be loopable. Like, will it be made? Yeah, there's a little bit of overlay here, the little click when it changed. That didn't work out too well. Hold on. It worked to a melody, though. So we can go to melody B there, and we can repeat. Melody B, let's repeat Melody B twice, just for giggles. And then let's use Transition B. So let's go back to Melody A a little bit. And then let's end it. Let's see if that, that all should sound good. I think the transition there was because the intro is not meant to be. Don't, don't do that. Like, stop it. Don't whip it. Thank you. Let's just do it twice. Oh, let's do it three times. Like we did before. Okay. 
So I should get a perfectly smooth thing even doing this. And it should be, instead of a minute and 30, we should get three minutes and 50 seconds, almost four minutes of music out of it. Let's see. I'm worried that some of these aren't going to loop the way I think they're going to. Because the problem is, when you have reverb that's hanging over in Logic, when you're in the sequencer and you just use the loop function in Logic, it still plays the reverb so you don't hear it. There's also, like, it's not in sync. The, um, the strings are a little behind. So that's mostly there. Close project, don't save it. Let's reopen the loops. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I have done, I've seen people on the Unity Store do packs where they leave the reverb trail and they just bounce it with the reverb trail and they say, well, if you're going to loop this, you have to like let this play and then at the thing you line it up with the next one. And I just, I don't think, 
I don't think most people making a little Unity game for their phone really want to deal with that. So I always make sure that you can literally take the waveform and drag loop it and make it loop because I do not think people want to deal with that. I think it's better to do it that way. And like if I was working on like a big title um, where they had lots of time for the me and the auto engineer to work on how to make those work, I would make sure that, that reverb tail uh, got included. But But people just don't. But people just don't want to deal with that. Yeah, no, I think once I turn off the reverb on the um, on these, it'll be fine. Let's go to the percussion instance, which is over here. And fortunately, I use bus reverb. And let's just bypass that reverb. I also, OK, so that that's fixed. So that fixed Chalester reverb, that's fixed rock reverb. We need the strings on melody B to fade in. I think this is melody B. Yeah, this one. This needs to start much quieter. It was much too abrupt. Go a little faster than that. Can actually go a little. Well, I actually liked it. I liked it better when it was longer because it kind of subtly faded in. Fixes that transition to B needs a low bass pits at the beginning. Transition should be where's my second transition? It's over here. Actually, they probably both need that, honestly. Um, Probably could use bass full time, but I'm just gonna. I don't want. I, I like it without the lowness in it. So both transitions are gonna have that. So that any bass pits is from like over here. You you can at least get an, uh, an ending through them. I need to turn off reverb on low strings too. I just am now realizing. I should be going through my template and turning it all off, but I'm too lazy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you do reverb on a send or a bus, not... I should have made high string reverb. So that's all the... We're only using... Oh, uh, winds reverb, too. Man. doing this. Mm. It didn't sound good. Delete it. It's not perfect without that first one, but it's fine. We probably need a, this here too. We need bass pitches on all loops at the beginning. Some sauce. Cool. That's why I'm getting no sound at the end of this one. Except for that, which, because it's a pulse engine, it's fine. The pulse engines don't artifact when they loop, even though they have that weird hangover. I don't know why. Like that jump, 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 jump doesn't, doesn't artifact. I don't know why. For loops, you mean rock? Oh, speaking of which, I'm into. Uh...
By the way, Mudpick asked about the drums. These are the drums over here. I'm not going to add them to this, but... Um, are these the ones you're talking about? Um, why isn't that playing? Oh, wrong octave. No? What? I don't know what I'm talking about. Ensemble medals, heaviosity, real nice. Their ensemble toms are supposed to be really good too, but I don't, haven't saved up for those yet. So, on there, works piece just takes off in a direction, doesn't really come back. I mean, from like a musical standpoint, that's super easy. Um, I mean, from a musical standpoint, that's really nice. It's like through composed. Um, I mean, it takes a little bit longer because you got to keep writing new material, but it's I, I a lot of my newer stuff actually does that because I got tired of having things be so structurally tied together that I felt a little repetitive, especially like on Starbound. I think in Starbound it works, um, um, but on uh, it's a lot of stuff. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff that, that does that, so it's not that hard. Coming back to yourself is actually can be a lot harder. Okay, I'm going to rebalance all these out, and then I think I'm going to call it a day, because I think that's that's done. I just need to go in and master them, but I'm going to do that with the whole thing as one set later. So, let's get rid of our wrong ones. But yeah, it's been a nice change of pace. I, I, I sometimes forget... Actually... No, no. We'll, we'll, we'll throw Isotope on them as a whole later so that they're all matched perfectly. This is our menu intro. Here, before I go, once I'm done bouncing these out, I actually want to show the Mystic Music Pack ones. Because I'm actually really proud of those, because those took a really long time. So give me a second. Let me bounce these out. Position A. This is melody B. Right. the way it's playing. I don't think it does, but... Transition B. And ending.
I may have to go rebounce these. We'll see after I test them later. Sometimes when it's doing that, when you're not hearing that first note, it's because VE Pro is not keeping up with the with the the locally hosted samples, and it can cause sync issues. And I have to like move the the bounce back a little bit, and I have to go in and like manually chop the audio file. But I'll do that not on stream because that's boring. Here's Mystic Music Pack. So let's just do new. We don't need to do that. It is a pain, but I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, I sell these for like 50 bucks a piece, so I mean. Cry, cry, QQ, then it's a little. Let's check this out. So we've got Mystic Menu Intro here. Sure, change writer. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's actually easier if it does. So do that. Intro. And we've got Melody ABC. Let's repeat the melody here. And then let's have, say, a filler. And let's have melody B. And let's then have filler A. I'm just randomly pulling these out. Melody C. I have to go back to melody A for a little bit. Filler, I think we'll use filler C, whatever. Filler C, melody C. So I'm just pretty much pulling these randomly and then ending. And oh man, I love, I love it, I love it. time to get to work and it was really one of my favorites and it's got a menu it's got a high intensity and a variable intensity battle in it so you can grab the battle and you can say okay we're starting to fight sure we're starting to fight so we have a little intro and then we can do like let's prevent let's pretend something epic happens so you can so it starts off. So if something epic happens, you just end the intro loop and have a big epic thing with the four grips. Oh, that, that's, I'm sorry, those are different. Those
those are different. Those are different. Sorry, those are not actually loops. Those get put onto the back. Um, but I mean, you can uh, you can have a percussion filler if you want to just have stuff that's happening. You know, as you're... The reason that that one didn't work is because what you can do is those are mixable with everything else. So you can do that. So instead of just having percussion in the background, you can say event. And then have that come in like that. It doesn't play. And go back to your loops in the back. Or you could say... You know, all sorts of things. Say the fight is over. You've slain the monster or whatever. And it'll just end like that. I'm really I'm this the the, the Mystic Music Pack has not sold a single copy. But it took me probably two weeks to get it all working. And that's that's sort of a variable intensity one where you can change how intense it is depending on what like sort of those fillers you put in. But um, there's also a high intensity one that's just like the sort of thing you would normally have. You know, so there's the intro, let's say filler A. I think these are loops, so I don't think you I should read my own readme file, but I think so. You know, it starts. Let's pretend something epic happens. It'll play this. all work like that. There's ambient tracks, there's menu tracks, there's battle tracks. The ambient ones are, are less loops than they are just like, you know, this kind of stuff. So, anyway, if anybody's ever interested, maybe if somebody sees this on YouTube later, that is in the Mystica Music Pack, which is available on the Unity Web Store for a mere $20. A mere $20. It comes in FLAC, high quality MP3, AUG, WAVE, all, all of them, all of, all of the files. Anyway, I think that's it for me today. We're going to probably do exactly what this looks like, um, but with this uh, one we've been working on today, and we're going to, so we've done a menu basically. We'll probably do, I'm actually going to probably do a second menu for like in game menus that are maybe like once you've not the main menu. Um, we'll probably do a little bit of higher, lower intensity ones, some ambient ones. We'll probably keep it pretty light. But yeah, no, I think that's uh, it's a nice break from just royalty free stuff. So anyway, I will see everyone later. Have a great day, night, morning, whatever time it is where you are. And I will be on. Um, probably this afternoon in about two to maybe three hours, depending on if the baby wants to go down for his afternoon nap. So I will talk to you all later.